today I will teach you how to build this ship from scratch, step by step. Let's go. To build your ship you need to go to some ship technicians, like this guy in the New Atlantis. First of all you need to go and view and modify your ship, so you need to have at least one ship to start building. And of course some spare credit. Make sure you got some piloting skills. You don't need any skills to make easy ships, but if you want high rated very strong ships, you need to have this rank at least rank 3 to make class B ships and rank 4 to make class C ships. You can't pick and build ships with high grades if you don't have starship design. So make sure to level up this stuff if you want to build cool ships too. And then when you're installing some modules, you can level up this stuff. So every preparation is ready. Let's build our ship. Go into ship builder. We're deleting this one and starting from scratch. So when you're starting to build your ship, first of all, first step is to start with the bay. So when you're starting with the bay, you want to make sure you can flip it if you want to. So as you can see, this is front, this is back, and this two bays can't be flipped. Just look at the bottom over here, there's no flip button, and when we hover over here, we see we can flip it. So I want to enter from the back, let's flip it, and now we can enter from the back. After we added landing bay, we need to go and make our cockpit. So there's a lot of cockpits, pick whatever cockpit you like. So when you're picking your cockpit, make sure it uh, fulfills your attachment needs. So for example, this overseer got two attachments on the top, circle ones, and circles is for weapons, and on the bottom is square attachment, so it means it can be attached to some modules and you can travel through this stuff. And you can uh, play around with this, hover around, and as you can see, they not stacking on each other. So you need additional modules to make them work. So how I'm making it like top and bottom? Look on the right, there's buttons F and R, and we can basically do it like this, pressing different buttons going on different levels. So for today's build, we're going with simple cockpit. When you're picking cockpit, you're deciding how much cargo you need so if you don't need a lot of cargo just don't go with high value cockpits they not better they don't give you additional health and they will have less mass so if you're not using a lot of cargo on your ship then less mass is better if you're making fighting ship it will have more mobility so now we need to attach them so to attach cockpit and loading bay you need hubs Hubs is stuff where you can travel in your ship, so when you're walking inside the ship, you're walking inside hubs. And there are different hubs, so you get different sizes, 3x1, 2x1, 1x1, and many different types. So as you can see, there's a lot of strokes, you can go with different variants, they look the same, but they have different stations. So for example, we have like a living quarters with the beds, we have uh, some armory with uh, weapon trenches where you can improve your weapons uh, so pick whatever you like whatever you need for today's simple build we will be making two by one connection and then you can basically assign this part so so when you attached all this stuff now it's almost functional but now we need to, to land and to stick to our the ships so we need docker and we need landing gear. So navigate to docker first, I recommend to go in with docker. And when we pick in docker in this area, we get only top side dockers. So make sure this docker is on the top of the ship. So when we attach this docker, for example, over here, we can't add anything else on the top of the ship. That's not nice, so that's why I recommend picking docker like this and making it on the top. And if you want to make it not only functional but also beautiful ship make sure to color it from the start it will be a lot easier so you can go and color your cockpit for example there's two, three different colors and we will be making blue and white today so colors three will be blue something like this and when you paint it one part you go to another part and you got this fast colors over here so you can color it insanely fast okay it looks beautiful what next next again landing gear so we're attaching it to the sides we're looking for landing gear it's called gear and there's stuff called lander trust right now it's not too important when you're making little ships 
but when you're making big ships they will have large mass and the larger the mass the more lander trust you need so right now we can go with simple little legs and when you attach these legs as you can see we got problem with our loader so as you can see our loader on different level so we need to go and reattach it to the bottom just like that so right now our ship will work we need to add one more gear so next up we want to make our reactor reactor giving your power basically to your ship and when picking real reactor make sure to pick reactor of your class because uh, all ship parts can't exceed this reactor power so if you pick a reactor of class b and you don't have ability to write these ships you can't write the ship basically so you want to pick reactor of class a if you're just starting and reactor giving you allocated power so pick best possible reactor you can after reactor you want to use gravity drive and give you ability to teleport to new planets so pick just gravity drive and now we need only fuel tank and engine so engine there's different engines there's side engines there's top engines back engines where you want to place your engine just pick a part and then press attach so if you want it to back find back free space go to attach and make engine over here make sure engine not exceeding your reactor class as you can see this engine is class c so we can't use it because our reactor is class a attach our gravity drive and now only thing we need is a fuel tank so fuel tank we can attach it over here go to fuel tanks and pick some beautiful micro fuel tank that you like and let's make one more from this side so this ship is kinda ready it's not most beautiful maybe but i think it's cool okay we can fly on it so we definitely can fly on this stuff but we're still missing some important items we no we don't have shields right now and we don't have any weapon so for shield make sure to pick right shield again if you're making ship like these for example and you're trying to play a place like big shield over here you will have warning flight check invalid docker model position so right now our docker is not on the top of the ship so we need to delete this shield but there's some shields that uh, require a lot less space so we can definitely go with class a shield like this pretty nice looking strong shield and everything is fine so basically our ship is ready we can go and fly right now we got some shields we can add weapons and basically go have some fun but we need final step we need to optimize our ship so go to flight check and check what's wrong with your ship without weapon we got low mobility because uh, we got high mass and we need to reduce mass or add engines to improve mobility so what we can do we got only one engine we can definitely just go and delete this engine and we can change locations of these fuel tanks we can go over here press add and make fuel tank over here so right now we get cool fuel tank over here just little balls over here and we make engines on the sides so we will have two engines go to the side go to engines and just attach engines of class a over here so we got one over here we got one over here and just like that our ship is crazy and ready to go but we still need weapons so and we can add weapons to this circle spots so we can go with cannon or whatever you like make sure your weapon class is same as reactor again you get weapons of b class of c class but we need lower level weapon and when picking weapons uh, decide what you want to do with your weapons for example this cannon will make nice damage to hull but low damage to shield so we can have cannon on the top for example and we can go to bottom and assign over here some stuff like like uh, cinch laser so for example this laser will affect shields more and uh, when you want to destroy shields you attack with this stuff first when you want to destroy hull you attack with tops first and and last but not least you need to assign these weapons to the group so go to flight check go to weapons and this groups is your buttons basically so attack one weapon to one group next weapon to next group and if you got only two weapons you will have this message ship missing weapon assignment that's totally fine so we can exit we can accept our modification and there's our ship so now we only need to make it 
our home ship. So let's take a ride. Oh my god, it's beautiful. So we're going in from the back. And to go to the ship we need to climb. So what do we have here? Nothing special. Basically bed, so we can sleep a little bit if we need to. Here's our docker, so we, when we're docking any ships we will be going over here. And that's our cockpit. So let's enter. What's up, bro? This cockpit and let's ride our new ship with huge balls. So let's go. So that's our ship. Nice maneuvers. And as you can see, we got a lot of power, so we can have max shields, max gravity drive. We don't need to locate it in the battle, we can just fly around and attack. We get different weapons. So we can start a fight. It's level 32 ship. I guess really powerful. But we can outmaneuver this ship. And we can have a nice fight over here. I hope you enjoy this ship building tutorial. Watch other cool videos on the screen right now and see you in the next videos guys.